hi welcome back everyone and this is a series of Ajira cloud admin and today we are going to discuss about the workflows workflow is a very important topic that every Jira admin should know about it because with the help of the workflow you can set the life cycle of your issues how they will move in the board and how they will move from one status to the another status so let's get started with the video but before starting the video i just want to tell you if you are not a jira admin and you are watching my video then you, it should be necessary to have a jira admin permissions to perform all the actions that i will explain in this video without any further ado let's get started to get into the workflow you have to click on this uh, setting icon and then you will click on issues and here in the left sidebar you will click into the workflow sections you will come into this workflow sections so what is the workflow we need to understand first of all what is the meaning of the workflow here in jira so you can read about a little bit in this page like a jira is a set of the statuses and the transition that an issue moves through during its life cycle and typically represent a process within your organization here you can see we have this page for the workflow and we have two actions here active workflow and the inactive workflow what is the meaning of the active workflow and the inactive workflow active workflow are those workflow who are currently associated with your projects and the inactive are those who are not associated with your projects currently when you will come into the active workflow you can see we have sort of like uh, five six or five active workflow here and when i will click in inactive workflow here we have the list of the inactive workflow and that are not in use we have some actions to perform like we can view and we can copy these inactive workflow let's come back to the active workflow again and here you can see this is the name of the workflow and this is the name of the project that this particular workflow is associated with and we have the workflow schemes as well uh, i will explain what is workflow scheme and what is the use of the workflow scheme actually in the coming video and here we have some options to perform we can see we can add it and we can make a copy of this workflow in this video i will give you an overview how the workflow will look like and for this i can click on the view i can see how the software simplified workflow for project name aap looks like so i'll gonna click on the view and here i have my software simplified workflow for project this there are the two kind of view you can see you can see a text or a diagram so i would go with a diagram i can switch and i have a one important options here like you if you want to export your workflow you can export this workflow as an xml or as an workflow so this is a good options if you want to explore this is a very simple workflow and it is by default provided by jira so let me zoom it a little bit yeah and here you can see we had to do done and in progress these are the basically status here when i will click nothing will happen because this is an active workflow and i cannot edit the active workflow in jira if i want to edit this workflow then i have to click on the edit and it will create a draft i will tell you in my next video how you will edit the workflow and how you will add your own statuses and the transition but for this video this is just a overview how it look like and what is the meaning of these boxes and what is the meaning of this all so these are the status and these are the transitions basically you can say it is saying all what is the meaning of this all the meaning of this all this this transition can transitions to any status in the workflow now uh, we will go and see one more workflow because this is a very simple so i'll go to the atlassian official website and here i have a one default workflow example here you can see we have lots of status and transition here these are the status like waiting for support waiting for customer and pending resolved closed cancel these are the status basically and these are the transition that you can see in the form of the arrow so this is just a example of the workflow and now i'll come back to my jira instance again and i will click on the workflow i want to tell you the other options that we have in this uh, page we can find the workflow we have the search bar and even we can change the paging as well we want to show the 10 20 or whatever the results 
and if you want to copy the workflow you can ju just simply click on the copy and it will ask you about the name what do you want the name and you can write down the descriptions and you can just copy and you can just copy this workflow and now i'll click on the cancel that's all for this video where i'll explain what is workflow and how it look likes and how the statuses and the transition looks like but in next video i'll tell you how you can create your own workflow and then you can add a lot of status and the transitions as per your team requirements or your the organization requirements thanks for watching this video let's meet in the next video